Technology has made traveling a lot cheaper, easier and quicker over the years, but as we know technology is by no means foolproof. So why should you definitely not carry your ID simply on your phone? Firstly, by ID, I mean things like copies of your passport, your driver's license and also a national identity card if you have one of these. Now, whilst it is a good idea to have some of these copies whilst traveling, especially on paper, stored somewhere very safely, and digitally, you should never have copies of these documents in picture format simply on your phone or on an app that doesn't require a password to get into. Losing your phone whilst abroad is honestly one of the easiest things to do, and a simple passcode honestly is not going to protect your phone's information. If you have pictures of your important documents simply saved in the Photos app or on an app that doesn't require a passcode, then it is ridiculously easy for some scammers to simply get the information and start impersonating you. For example, a passport photo scan will have both your passport number, your date of birth, your place of birth, which is a common security question, and also if you have a driver's license, sometimes these will have your home address printed on as well. And obviously, if they have your phone, they'll probably be able to find out both your phone number and your main email address, along with all those apps that usually require verification via phone if you've forgotten your password and they have your phone. Now, all of this information is usually things like security questions that they ask in case you need to ring them up as you've forgotten your password. And obviously this is what a scammer will be trying to do. On the simple end, it's probably quite easy for them to get into your Facebook and Twitter accounts, but on the more serious end, for example, with PayPal, all they have to do is verify that it's you. And if they have a copy of your passport, they can simply ring up customer services, send a copy of your passport over so that they can get into your PayPal. Now that they have your PayPal, they can probably get into your bank account and start spending and you can see where this is going and why it's such a bad idea. So what should you do instead? The first and easiest things that you should do is probably send a copy of these documents in PDF form to your own email and save them in a folder where you would remember. Now, obviously this is not ideal since they can probably get into your email and find it if they have enough time, but it is safer than just storing it in photos. But the safest option that we could think of is to save an encrypted file, and what I mean by this is you need a username and password to log into it, on somewhere like Dropbox or Google Drive or Mega or some other basically internet cloud service that you can access not only on your phone, but on your computer or another internet device in case you need it. And the extra great thing about something like this is you can log on and delete it off this cloud drive if you know that someone has taken your phone. Now, if you do lose your phone abroad and are worried that someone may hack into your accounts, then the first thing that you should do is contact your phone company and ask them to cancel the number on your phone. By this, they cannot log into any of your accounts via verification via phone, since now the phone number is disabled. And most importantly, if you think someone is going to try and impersonate you because they have a copy of your passport scan, then go to your nearest embassy and tell them because they will be able to sort you out and they will have a lot more access to information than you do. My question for you is how did you keep your digital documents safe whilst you were traveling abroad? If you have any more tips than what we've mentioned, then leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date. Subscribe down below if you wish to see more and we will see you next time.